Hello, I'm Chrissy Seaton and welcome to my channel. I have a question to pose to you all today. Is chivalry still appropriate? Is chivalry disappearing? And is chivalry, chivalry appreciated by women still? So hold that thought, those questions in your mind. I want to give you a little example of where I'm coming from. Uh, just to set the background, I am a little clumsy on my feet. I spent most of my childhood with uh, bilateral skinned knees. Um, so that uh, gift I have <laughs> hasn't always left me. Now, some time back now, I went to Brisbane, to our capital city, and uh, to do some shopping, etc. Now, I know uh, there are pedestrian crossings now with the lights, etc., where not only does it just go two ways, parallel, but it also goes diagonally all at once. So in other words, the whole four sets of lights give way to pedestrians. So you'll have pedestrians going parallel and then you'll have, him, have them going crosswise like this. Now that for me is almost makes me feel dizzy. It's that mixed up motion. And uh, on this occasion, I'd come to a, a street where this was in place. The four sets of lights were on stop. Uh, giving way to the pedestrians in four, you know, crosswise or parallel, diagonal, any which way. And uh, uh, suddenly when this all happened, I, I sort of, you know, I had this feeling that the pavement was coming up at me and I sort of almost froze. In fact, I stepped back and leant up against a building uh, on the, on the, um, the street. I, and I actually didn't attempt to cross because I thought I'm going to have a fall. Now, sometimes people suggest to me I should have a walking stick. Well, I do have one. And sometimes that gets me into more trouble because I kind of stick it in a pothole or I leave it behind, etc. Anyway, I digress. Let me get on with the story. So it comes time the second time around now for the, all four lights to stop. And I decided that I had to get across there, otherwise I'd have to almost walk around the block and, you know, it was going to take a long time. So I thought I gritted my teeth, I gritted my teeth and said, right, just focus, just go one direction, straight across, focus, don't take notice of anything. And of course, the closer I got then to step off the curb, I must have swayed a little bit. Anyway, cut a long story short, a man came up, a man younger than me, and touched me on the elbow and said, lady, are you okay? And I said, no, actually I'm not. I feel dizzy, but I need to cross that street. <laughs> I'm frightened I'll fall. He said, allow me. He said, I'll walk you across. And he did. He put uh, uh, his hand on my el elbow and the other hand under my arm and said, "Just we'll just walk straight across. And we did. It, it so natural to him. He didn't batter an eyelid. I thanked him profusely and I told him, you know, what a nice gentleman it was and I appreciated it very much. End of story, he said, you know, goodbye, have a good day, you know, and uh, off he went. And I went on about my business of shopping. But you know, I've often pondered back on that occasion. Firstly, how much, very much I appreciated it, because I think I would have still been standing there. And secondly, it was a wake up call. I thought, you know, how chivalrous, how, that man must have noticed me. He was, you know, uh, just quite naturally came up and didn't feel embarrassed or anything of offering me, you know, assistance across the street. I was so appreciative of it. I told him how appreciated I was, appreciative I was. But I am thinking since then, 
how many times does that still happen? You know, the question comes back, is chivalry still alive? More importantly, is chivalry still appreciated by women? I want you to think about that. Now, I grew up in an hour of no bones about my age, I'm 70. Um, I grew up in a time where, and in a rural sort of area, so every man tipped his hat to a woman, uh, you know, held the door open, held the chair out for them to sit down. Men stood when a woman entered the room. It was the correct thing to do. It was out of respect. But by the same token, women appreciated it and behaved in such a manner that it was expected. Women behaved like ladies, men behaved like gentlemen. So I grew up in that environment where, you know, as soon as a woman walked into the room, all the men stood up. A man would never sit um, in the presence of a lady until, you know, she sat herself or, you know, he would offer his chair if there was none available. Um, and, you know, chivalry is a, a definition. There's Chivalry sort of um, can be explained as being something like courtesy, politeness, courageous, no, noble, noble actions, you know, um, gallantry, um, gentleman-like behaviour and their characteristics of virtue and righteousness and good manners. And so I was lucky enough to be read in that environment where it was not a put on thing, it was just the done thing and appreciated very much. You know, if a man offered to carry a heavy parcel for you from the shop to the car, you, you know, uh, um, most of the time, we you were grateful because often you'd be pushing a pram with kiddies in it or something like that. You know, um, it was expected and men expected to do it and women appreciated it greatly and showed their gratitude. They said, thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. So let's have a look at things like, um, uh, also, you know, if ladies were present, men wouldn't dare swear or use coarse language. And if it slipped out by accident, they would pr apologise profusely. They'd be embarrassed. Then again, women didn't swear in public or in mixed company either. Hmm? You see where I'm going with this? And um, the, so as I harped, chivalry was expected and it was appreciated. Women behaved like ladies, men behaved like gentlemen. So what happens now in this modern day and age? Well, women are told that, you know, they're equal in every way and I'm not going to, uh, to dispute that. But I think sometimes men are afraid to show common, courteous chivalry and kindness. Because women, if they're not um, careful in their, their behaviour and how they treat others, can almost insult a man for opening the door for them or, or offering them a seat on the train or the bus. You know, they can, they can be rude to them. They can think that, you know, this is abnormal. Now, I have a grandson. My oldest grandson's almost 22. Now, he's been read to be courteous, stand up when women are present, open the car door, open the, you know, offer them their seat, etc. And so of this younger generation, now I can tell you what he would say and probably has said. When he has opened a door for a woman or offered a seat and they've insulted him, I can tell you pretty much exactly what he has said. Pardon me. I mistook you for a lady. Isn't that a beautiful answer? Isn't that a beautiful answer? Pardon me, I mistook you for a lady. 
So you can't blame these younger men coming up the ranks, no matter how well they've been read or schooled in their manners. You cannot blame them for not standing back for a woman or assisting them like me across the street. They're afraid they're going to get their face slapped sometimes. So I think the art, my personal opinion is, the art of chivalry has begun to die because women are no longer appreciative, first of all, or expecting it, and there are some who just downright don't deserve it. That doesn't make it right, but I think it's something we should think about. And so I appeal to women out there, if a man offers you your, his seat or on the bus or open the door for you or motion you to get into the lift before him, Nod at least in thanks. Yeah, it, that's common courtesy. Common courtesy. Um, men, m mind you, in rural areas, men, a lot of country rural men still tip their hat to a lady, you know, that, and, and we appreciate it and we understand it's a lovely, lovely thing that they're acknowledging you. So I think that chivalry has been almost demonised in some way in this where everyone has equal rights, you know, I, whatever you can do, I can do better. Well, you know what? Okay, I can ride a horse and I can shoot a gun too. Uh, you know, I can make a dog go out and do its job and all that. But, you know, I, I'm a lady. It doesn't mean to say I, I don't still appreciate the, th the finest acts of chivalry in life. I appreciate it when men open a door for me. And I can tell you that day in Brisbane when that young man came forward voluntarily and offered me his arm, offered to assist me across, I was extremely grateful and thankful that there was this chivalrous youngish man there to help me across. And I thanked him for it. And I think that if we want to be treated in a civil and chivalrous manner, if, if um, a man does offer, you know, a chivalrous act, I think it should be appreciated. And look, don't tell me that you can't tell when a man's making a genuine chivalrous act to you as compared to you being in a wild bar somewhere and some bloke comes up to you and says, oh, gee, can I buy you a drink? You know, there's a difference. I'm not talking... There's a difference in chivalry and trying to pick up a girl or a girl trying to pick up a bloke, for that matter. Um, it's a different world. Women were ladies, men were gentlemen. And I, for one, still appreciate it. And I don't think there's anything at all wrong with it and encouraging it. So I say to parents out there, mothers and fathers, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, etc., encourage that. It, it, it's like, it's not the whole glue of society, but by gee, it goes a long way to setting some standards in society. Don't swear in the presence of women. You know, stand up when a woman enters the room. Offer her chair, her your chair. You know, and even in times gone by, do you know when, if you were walking up the street with a man, just, for example, your husband, they would always stand on the curb side of the street, so the, the, the part closest to the roadway, and the woman on the inside, away, furthest away from the curb. That started in times when carriages and things were still in use and paving and roadways and streets weren't, is even and so if a wheel or something splashed through the puddle it would could splash up and so if the lady was on the curbside in her beautiful gown or something she'd get splashed with muddy dirty street water and so the men to avoid that happening to the lady they were accompanying would stand on that side therefore they would only get splashed and it would minimize her gown being damaged and you know what? I get really excited every now and then when I see that happening, a man, what are obviously a man and a woman, a couple, and he's walking on the curb side and she's on the inside. I get a real flutter in my heart. I think, oh, 
chivalry still there. So a lot of these chivalrous acts are purely out of respect and not only respect, but protection, protection towards women. Now, some of you might think you don't need protecting. Well, that's okay, but there's no need to insult a man that offers a courteous um, gesture or offers to assist you or something like that. And so that's why I say to the older generation, encourage your daughters to expect um, chivalry, but on the same token, they have to deserve it as well and be courteous and grateful, gracious about it. And the same with fathers and that. Encourage your son, set an example. You have to set an example. The father, stand up when your wife enters the room or offer her a chair or, or, or another, you know, hold a door open for your daughter for that matter. Things like this. You've got to start training them when they're young because I think that these these customs, old customs and gestures, while some people think they're outmoded and they're old fashioned and they're silly, well, I feel sad for those people because you know what? I don't think there's a woman alive that doesn't want to be treated like a lady if she is behaving like one. And I don't think there's a gentleman alive if he's a gentleman that isn't willing to treat a lady courteously. So I ask you again, is chivalry dying? And if it is, you have a good think about why it's dying. I say bring back chivalry. And I say to all those men out there who are still practicing it, congratulations, you are wonderful men and real women, real ladies will appreciate your acts of chivalry. Please take care and God bless.